Hi, my name is Nancy Sander of Puppets with Pizzazz, and I'm here today at the Cleveland Public Library to help celebrate the World Day of Puppetry. And today we're going to make a fun puppet, a purple frog. Say hello, Mr. Frog. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> Good for you. All right, let's get started. You're going to find three purple plates. You're going to find two pieces of pink paper, one small, one large. You're going to find one piece of red paper, one piece of lavender paper, three pieces of dark purple paper. That's all the paper that you'll need. You will also find a pair of scissors, a glue stick, the frog poem tape, and it may not just be this brand of tape, but you will have a roll of tape. You'll have three pieces of pipe cleaner, two pom-poms, two elastic bands, two googly eyes, two pieces of short crepe paper, two pieces of long crepe paper, a tongue depressor, and a piece of string. That's all you're going to need to make this purple frog. We're going to make the inside of the mouth first. We're going to take our scissors, so we're going to make like a circle to go inside his, of his mouth. I brought with me a paper bag, just a plain old paper bag, and I like to have that right at my side. I'm gonna open that right up. And now when I cut off my scraps, they can go right into the bag and not keep my area messy, okay? I like to have a clean workspace when I work because then it cuts the looking for stuff in, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, where did this go? Where did that go? Where did this go? Where did that go? So I just throw that right in the bag like that. And this is going to be the inside of his mouth. I'm going to take my glue stick. Okay, and crank her out and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then backwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I always go ten forward and ten backwards, and that makes sure we got enough glue. So then I'm going to put that right down there like that. That's the inside of his mouth. There. Now, the next thing we want to do is make his tongue. So we're going to take the red piece like this and we're going to cut his tongue out like this. And it goes, you know how tongues go round at the end? Make it go round. There we go. And I'm gonna take that piece of red paper, throw it in my paper bag, and we have a nice clean area. Now this is interesting about frogs. This you might not know. Our tongues are attached to the back of our throats. Now froggies, they have their tongues in the front of their mouth so they can keep their tongue tidy in their mouth like this. And then when they wanna catch a fly, they can throw their tongue out like that. So what we're going to do is we are going to paste our tongue to the front of our frog's mouth like that. So he can catch flies, catch flies, and he can also go <sniffs> which I like him to do. Okay. You know, not all frogs are green. Did you know that? No, there are some frogs that are yellow and some frogs are spotted. Some frogs have bright colors on them because the frogs that have bright, the brightest colors, they're the ones that are poisonous to eat. And by having those bright colors, then other animals who might want to eat a frog say, uh-oh, this is a bad idea. Look how brightly colored he is. No, we don't want to eat him. 
We're going to set aside the bottom of his mouth at the moment, okay? Now, this is going to be the top of his head. I want you to picture, if you will, the face of a clock. And we're going to make two cuts, one almost at the 11, and one just past the one. So I'm going to take my scissors and I am going to make sure I've got only one. Always check with these plates. You've got to make sure there's only one. And I'm going to cut it right into, I'm going to cut as far as this rim here like that. Okay. So here it is. This is there. See, that's almost like 130. So I'm going to go over here to like 11 o'clock ish all the way into there like that you see those two cuts I'm gonna take this rubber band and I'm going to put it in this side like that see how that goes in that goes in like that and then I'm going to stretch it over and put it into the other side so it looks like that now, I don't want them coming out, so I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to take my tape, and I am going to take my tape, and I'm going to put a piece of tape. I'm going to put this tape right there. See, and that'll hold it together. And I'm going to put this tape over here, and that'll hold that together like that. See? And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to take a piece of tape like this. Well, what do you see? And I'm going to tape, put that just like that. And that'll hold that together like that. There. Now that'll keep that rubber band from coming out, right? And eventually your hand will go into this rubber band like this and that'll make it work, you know? We have to put a rubber band, as soon as this is dry over here, we're gonna put a rubber band over there too. Now, what we wanna do is, I'm facing, I'm having the rubber band face away from me. And I am going to put on his pom-pom, nose his nose okay i'm going to take my glue stick and i'm going to go 10 to the this way clockwise and 10 to the counterclockwise like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that should give us enough glue to glue his pom pom down nice and tight. So I'm going to take the other one. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And backwards, counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, that should do it. That's enough glue. Nothing's worse than not having enough glue. There you go. There we go. There we go. Now that should be enough glue to hold those babies on for a lifetime. Now what we want to do is we want to make his, his bulgy eyes, okay? Here's his bulgy eyes. So I want you to hold the paper like this, and we're going to make the letter D. You know, how, you know what a D looks like like this? We're going to make like a half circle or the letter D. Now watch me do it first, and then you can try it, okay? I'm going to make the letter D. Here we go. 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 There we go. See how it looks like the letter, well, the letter D. D. There it is. Letter D. Okay. Now I'm going to take that because I want them to be just the same size, mind you. You don't want one big eye and one little eye. You want them to be the same size. I'm going to put one right next to the other. 
And I'm going to make another letter D, letter D, letter D, letter D, letter D, letter D, around with my scissors, around with my scissors, so that they'll be just the same. Okay. Okay, letter D, letter D, letter D. There we go. Now, see how cool that is? Boom. That's going to be so cool. We're going to have these over here. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is... Going to flip this. You know, I'm thinking I really should have put the pom poms on second. Well, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to put the letter D here, one there, get your tape, and if the pom pom comes off because we've been fooling around with it, just stick it back on. Okay, and we're going to have the tape go up and down, not across. We're going to have it up and down first, okay? I'm going to hold it there like that. And we're going to have it up and down. So it'll hold nice and tight and go down the hill and around the limb. There we go. See how that goes on there like that? And then we're going to put another big long piece of tape, maybe almost uh, an inch and a half. We're going to put... That one right there next to that, like that, down the hill and around the bend. There you go. Oh, that looks so nice. And then we're going to do this one over here. Like that. And I always like to make sure that they're really going to hold. So what I do then is take another piece of tape. And I'm going to put it this way this time to hold, make sure that all the pieces of tape stay down like that. See? And I'm going to do that up there too. I'm going to put it up there like that too. See? Now we're going to do that on this other side too. So you find out where your hand goes there. Where's that? Okay, right there. We're going to put it right over here. Remember, about an inch and a half. Start in the middle, down the hill, and around the bend, right? Down the, okay, down the hill, around the bend. There you go, like that. Tape piece number two, coming in for action. You know, this purple frog we're making isn't a real frog, is it? It's a pretend frog. It's a fantasy frog. That's a big word, fantasy, which means pretend. If you read a book of fantasy, would it be real? Was it a true story? No, it's a pretend story. Fantasy stories are pretend stories. I love fantasy stories. I like fiction, which is a fantasy story or a pretend story. And I like nonfiction. Nonfiction means it's a real story. Okay, I'm going to turn this guy over. Now I'm going to put a piece of tape on this side, like this. There, like that. Hold that there. So fiction means pretend. Nonfiction means not pretend or true stories. The story of a frog growing up from a tadpole to a to a frog, that's a nonfiction because it's true. Oop, here, I'm gonna trim this baby off. Like that, there. Okay, now we need our googly eyes. There. Remember to count with me how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should do it. Put one eye there. There. Nice going. And beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Come on, pick up. Okay. Count with me, kids. Here we go. Clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Back and counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! There you go. Googly eyes are set. Can you see me, Mr. Frog? <laughs> now we I'll tell you what we've got to do next. Put the cap on the glue. Always remember to put the cap on the glue, because otherwise it's going down the wazoo. You know, cap on the glue, down the wazoo, get it? Haha. <laughs> anyway. Now let's clean our space. Always try to go with a clean space into the bag with you purple things, purple scraps. See, now I got my work area all really nice like that, all major cool. Okay, now we're gonna attach the face to this guy here. Now, we're gonna make a plate sandwich. You got a plate sandwich here? We got a plate sandwich. This is our plate sandwich. I'm gonna make a, see, I'm going to make about this long a piece. So we can make sure that we have, let's, I, I always call that the anchor piece because I can put it right there to make sure that it holds the whole deal together. And I'm going to go to the other side. And remember, down the hill and up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, and over the beams. There we go, there we go. Okay, this is the anchor tape right there. There's an anchor tape. Now, we line it up with our plate sandwich. I'm gonna take another big piece like that and it's going to go on this side whoop come here come here little come here little bugger there you go there there and that comes down line up the plates line them up so that the sandwich won't whoop not dry yet okay there see that guy is not dry yet yeah he's not dry yet put him on here like this there okay and then we got the third big long piece to go here down the hill over the hill down the hill around the bend there you go there's that now we want to make sure that this is good too so we're gonna open his mouth say ah uh, okay. This goes like this. This goes like this. Don't tape down the rubber band. Don't tape down that rubber band. Do you say rubber band or elastic band? I don't know. I sometimes say one, sometimes say the other. Anyway, remember how frogs, they got their tongues attached to the front? Isn't that kind of cool? Then they can really reach far out. Because they are carnivores, that means they're not vegetarians. Vegetarians, they only, they only eat vegetables. They don't eat meat. But carnivores, they eat meat. And frogs are carnivores. The kind of meat they eat is animal meat, which is flies. They eat mostly flies and bugs. So now this is what we've got. Does that look cool? Now I'm gonna open this up again. And I am going to put that third piece of tape. So, Mr. Carnivore, would you like a bug on your tongue? Yes, I would. I know. I wouldn't. Would you, kids? Blech. In some countries, they eat bugs. They say they taste good. To tell you the truth, I'll never know. Anyway, here we go. But they say they taste good. They fry grasshoppers and eat chocolate-covered ants. No, thank you very much. I would like that very much. I know you would. Okay. Now, what we what we have to do here... You know what I forgot to do here? Okay. We're going to make our... No. I, okay, we have one cut there. And one cut here. And I'm going to take that rubber band... We're going to go right into that. Let's see. Into 
there. Put that right into there like that. So, we've got a rubber band in the back like that. We got a one eyed frog up here like that. So since he's not being very cooperative, count with me, kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that should do it, Mr. Frog. Stop being difficult. Let me see. Here we go. There we go. Now, the way you operate this little fella is that you put you put your three fingers into the top, like that. Then you put your finger down there in the bottom, or you can put four fingers, because your fingers are little, right? And all of a sudden, here you've got the head all ready to go. We're going to keep those over there, and while we're waiting, we will talk a little bit about frogs. And you know, I just love puppets because this is the World Day of Puppetry. I've made a few shadow puppets that we can use, and I'm going to use this frog book as my stage. Oh my heavens. And I'm going to talk about the life of a frog. When I was a little girl, I lived in the country and we always kept pet frogs. In the springtime, we first knew it was time to look for our new pets by the sound of the spring peepers. Listen now as you can listen to these frogs, and these frogs are no bigger than my little pinky nail. They're so tiny, but you can hear them miles away. Listen as you can hear these frogs sing. They're calling for their girlfriends to find them. Anyway, about a month later, we would go looking for our new pets. We would look in the water because amphibians lay their eggs in water. So I'm going to use this book of frogs for my little shadow stage because I love puppets, you know, and I made a little stage here to show you what a frog egg looks like. We would look first for something that was looking almost like, like this, like grapes. We all eat grapes, but the frog eggs in the water look very much like this, except that they're see-through. They're see-through except for a little black dot right in the middle. Let's pretend that this is a frog egg. And here is the dot in the middle of every frog egg has a dot in the middle. This dot in the middle stays real still and we would bring them home and we'd put them in a glass jar and we'd watch and we'd watch and we'd watch and all of a sudden, some days later, you would see them start to move just like this and we knew it was almost time and then we'd see, oh, they're poking out a little, they're poking out a little, oh my gosh. It's starting to hatch. It's starting to hatch. And, and oh, there it is. It's a little pollywog or a tadpole, as some people call them. We called them in the East pollywogs. But there he is. And then he eats all around his eggshell. And then eventually he swims out into the water. So here's our tadpole swimming around. We saw him escape from his egg, right? And he swims around, he swims around. And do you know what we used to give them to eat? Spinach. They like spinach. Spinach baby food is what we used. And they would eat it and eat it and eat it as they swam. And then something miraculous happened. They would begin metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is where an animal changes from one kind of animal, completely different, and changes into another kind of animal, like a, like a 
butterfly starts out as a caterpillar and he turns into a butterfly and that's called metamorphosis. And metamorphosis is a big word to learn, I know, but you could say, I never met a morphosis. If you can remember part of the word, then chances are you might remember the rest, like metamorphosis, 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 metamorphosis. Oh, well, well, let's go on with this, okay? It's metamorphosis. Well, anyway, we have our tadpole ready to enter metamorphosis. So here he comes swimming, and as he swims around, and we would watch for this, and we would see that pretty soon, one of his legs would go, start to grow. Two little front legs would come out just like that, and he'd swim around, and he'd swim around, and he was very happy in his water. You know what's interesting about tadpoles? They breathe underwater just like fish. They have gills just like fish. But frogs live in the air. They don't need gills, they need lungs. So when his little foot starts to grow out, he's also beginning to grow his lungs. And he comes up to the top of the water and gulps some air and gulps some air and then he goes back and uses his gills. And as he swims and as he swims and as he swims, then all of a sudden, here comes his back legs start to grow and he's swimming and getting bigger all of a sudden. And more and more of the time, he is spending breathing air on his own until he starts to really begin to look like a frog now. And now he's hardly spending any time under the water at all, but he still has his tail because he has to swim. So eventually his tail starts to shrink and starts to shrink and starts to shrink and starts to shrink and oh my gosh look at there all of a sudden he is a frog with no tail at all and no longer does he live in the water underneath the water with gills he lives on land or above the water to breathe but he can go under the water and stay safe from his enemies as well so that's the story of how a frog once a tadpole turns into a full-grown frog through metamorphosis. Now we can get back to our project and make the second half of our purple frog. Now we put aside the head of the frog so that it can dry and make sure the eyeball won't fall off again. It just needs time, just needs time. And we're going to take the uh, third plate. We need two pieces of purple. We need the lavender sheet and we need the short crepe paper and we need the long crepe paper. Okay, we're going to make the body. First, we're going to make the tummy, okay? We're going to take our scissors and just like we did in the mouth of the frog, we're going to go around and 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 around. Make a nice purple tummy for him. Lavender tummy. That's the word for light purple is lavender. That looks nice. Scraps in the bag. See how nice I got it nice and clear. Okay, now what we're going to do is take our glue stick. Count with me, folks. Count with me. We're going to go clockwise first, okay? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Cap on the glue, not down the wazoo. All right. On it goes. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Nice tummy. Nice tummy. We're going to set him up there to dry. Now what we want to do is I'm going to start to make his front legs. Do you remember what they look like here? I will reach over here and grab my frog. And you see his, see his front legs? That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to make the back legs. But right now, let's focus on the front legs and his front feet. 
you know frogs have webbed feet they have big flat webbed feet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about an inch and a half above and I'm going to twist it one two three you see that and then I'm going to pinch it see there's his foot now I'm going to put my finger right there and I'm going to go one two three like that see and flatten it out then I'm going to go one two three flatten it out flatten it out and one two three there like that now put it down on the ground or not on the ground on the table and see if we can get it as flat as we can like that and we can put it right there where's my glue stick okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like that. There goes one foot. One foot. How many? How many feet does a frog have? Four. What kind of? toes does he have? What kind of feet does he have? He's got webbed feet so he can swim in the water. He's an amphibian. An amphibian is an animal that starts out as an egg in water and then he grows into a different animal. In other words, he does his metamorphosis thing. Metamorphosis. I never metamorphosis, right? Metamorphosis. Okay, here we go. Gonna make his foot. One, two, three, and pinch. One, two, three, and pinch. And here. One, two, three, and pinch. And one. Two, three, and pinch. Lay it down, flatten it out. Here we go. Froggy leg, webbed feet for swimming in water. Webbed feet, he lives mostly in water. An amphibian has to keep his skin wet because you know another interesting thing about frogs? They breathe through their noses and they breathe through their skin. That's why they have to keep their skins wet. Okay, count with me, gang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and backwards, counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Tap on the glue, knock down the wazoo. Here we go. Boom. Okay, here we go. Here goes the second leg. Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Warmer, warmer, warmer. Oh yeah, I like to swim in the water with my webbed feet. I like to swim in the water with my little webbed feet. My web feet. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do the back legs. These are the hopper legs. They have the ability to hop far and wide. Okay, we're going to fold this hopper foot like this in half, the long way. Boop, boop. And then you run your fingernail down like that. See, that makes a nice crease. That makes a nice crease like that. Now what we have to do, see I'm making this, I'm making this of a, a nice stiff uh, paper because I'm going to make them go like that and something's gonna hang off of them. So I want a heavier paper than construction paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make his knees, oh, Frog knees, just what I need. Frog knees. Okay, like that. See? Put him over there to dry for a second. Then this one, I've got another knee coming up. Fold it this way. 
And you remember how to make a crease? Do you remember how to make a crease? I told you. Take your thumbnail and run it down. Take your thumbnail, run it down. And then I'm going to take my scissors and make a frog knee. See? They keep them tucked up like this. So then when a frog hops, he's, he folds it out like this. And look at how long, look at how long his legs can be. What a big hopper he is. Look at this. He goes, whoa, whoa. So he keeps his knees tucked up there. Oh, scraps in the bag. Nice clean spot. There we go. Okay, come here, baby. I'm going to turn him over. Come here, Blue. We're going to put these at two o'clock. I'm gonna bend it just a little bit. I know what we need to do. We need to put a little glue inside the knees, huh? We've got to do that, didn't we? Okay, let's do this. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counter clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oop, cap on the glue, not down the wazoo. There you go. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. We want it at about 2 o'clock. Okay, but we need to bend it just a little bit like that so it goes up the hill and around the bend. Okay, about 2 o'clock. Maybe 2.30. Like that. Okay, where's my tape? Got to get my tape. Remember how we had the anchor tape? We have one going up the hill down, down the valley. Okay, there's my anchor tape. I'm going to put another one on the other side. One on this side, like that. And one on this side, like that, like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Oh, we've got to glue this one together. Okay, here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough glue. Cap on the glue, not down the wazoo. Okay, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. Now, remember we're going to bend it up just a little bit this way. So it comes down the hill a little bit. We're going to have this about between... between nine and ten o'clock okay between nine and ten o'clock like that now we need our anchor our anchor tape about two inches here it comes down the hill around the bend up the road. there we go there we go like that there that's nice now another piece And another piece. Here we go. So we've learned that that a frog begins his life as an egg in the water. We learned that, didn't we? Then we learned that he hatches into a tadpole or a polywog. We learned that today too. And we learned that he is a frog that goes through metamorphosis, 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 morphosis, morphosis, metamorphosis, metamorphosis. Yes, he changes from something that lives in the water with gills and he finally ends up to a land animal with lungs. Completely different, right? Okay, now what we need then is our long pieces of. Remember how we made these legs? We're gonna make legs like that, but longer this time. Okay, remember, grab out about an inch and a half, and one, two, three, and pinch, and one, two, three and pinch and one one two 
three and pinch and one two be careful not to rip them three and pinch and then we flatten them out flatten them out remember how we're going to flatten them out we flatten them out there's his wet foot because he swims in the water. He has to stay wet in the water all the time. Why? Because he breathes through his skin as well as his nose. So he has to keep it wet. No chapstick in the lily pond. No, no chapstick there. Nope. He has to have water on his skin. Okay, we're going to take the glue. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap on the glue, not down the wazoo, and here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There. Flatten this out like that. Straighten it out a little bit. Straighten it out, straighten it out, straighten it out. Flap, flap, flap. Come here. There. Okay. We're cranking here, Froggy. We're cranking. Now, remember, an inch and a half up. Do a twist. One, two, three. Boom, pinch. One, two, three, and pinch. And one, two, three, and pinch. And one, two, three, and pinch. And there we go. Okay, lay it down. Flatten it out. Flatten it out, says I. Flatten it out. Oh, isn't this fun? Well, Mr. Frog, you certainly are coming along here. Now you don't have to limp along. You can hop on your own hopper feet. Yes, so you can jump into the lily pond and catch your fly with the frog tongue that's attached in the front. Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Cap on the glue, knock down the wazoo. There we go, there we go, there we go, and boom. There we go. Oh, don't you look fine. There. Now, see, there's the body. We only have one thing left to do in this little frog project, and that is turn him over. Looking good, looking good. Now, turn him over. Looking good, looking good. Now, we're going to lay him out like this. Tuck in your tongue, Mr. Frog. You don't want your tongue being stuck, do you? Ooh, ribbit, turn it on, ribbit, ribbit. I'm gonna take a two inch long piece of tape. We're gonna have our anchor. Remember I told about the anchor? Here's the anchor, there you go, there you go, there you go. There's the anchor tape. And we're gonna have this up like this. Down there. Up the side, like that. Let's see if that works. Yes, that'll work. Okay, that's our anchor tape. We're gonna put some on this side. You see how I got the inside of the stomach and the outside of the mouth going together? You don't want it the other way around. I'm gonna put an anchor tape there. And I'm going to, oops, I'm gonna take an anchor tape there. Oops, now I'm coming in myself up. I got myself stuck. Ooh. Like the sticky tongue of a frog. Frogs have sticky tongues to catch their flies. Okay, it goes like that. Frogs are very ingenious the way they do things like that. They got eyes on top of their head so they can be under the water and look at all the things going on above the water. I'm taking a piece of tape now and I'm going to go across to anchor these pieces of tape up here so they won't come off. And then I'm going to do the same down here. But they can look 
They can lay in the water so nobody sees them, and they can look on top of the water with their eyes, buggy eyes going above the water. That's very clever, I'm thinking. Okay, there. Now I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to put that sandwich together. Now we don't want... Froggy, stick your tongue in. There. Okay. And I'm thinking... I got this right. Yay! I got it right! Yes, 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 I think we did it. I'm thinking we're good. Except for one last thing I want to do. And I want you to put your tongue in. Don't stick me with your tongue, Mr. Frog. Anchor, stick your tongue. Tuck it in. Don't stick it out. Don't move it. 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 Thank you very much. There. I'm going to put a tape there. And I'm going to put a tape. Don't move your tongue. Don't move it. Don't move it. No, 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 no. I'm not a fly. I'm not a fly. But I am an animal. You could eat me up if you were big enough because you are a carnivore, and carnivores eat animals. Vegetarians, they eat vegetables, but carnivores eat animals. If I were to write a story when you are the hero, would I be writing a fiction story or non-fiction? Well, because you're purple, because you're a purple frog, Probably, you probably would be a fiction. The fiction is pretend story. Okay, now I'm going to put tape here and tape here. Just a little bit of tape to hold you together. Okay, make sure that you go like this. There. Ba-doop. Ba-doop. One on each side, like that. Ba-doop. Ba-doop. Isn't that fun? There. Now you can put your tongue in. You can keep your tongue in. Or you can open your mouth and out come. Wait a minute. We don't have a bug for you, do we? You should have a bug to catch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want a bug to catch. I want a bug to catch. Come on, come on, come on. Make me a bug. Make me a bug. Come on, come on. All right, all right. Okay, we can make a bug. Oh, let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, yes, this would be fun. Oh. Delicious. I'm a carnivore. I like to eat bugs. I like to eat meat. They're okay. So we're going to make this next. Okay. For this we need our three, our three little pipe cleaner. We need our tongue depressor and our string. Very simple. We're going to first start with this, with the little string. I'm going to take a piece of Tape. I'm gonna put it right like that, and here we go. Around, 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 around. And he says, I'm getting hungry already. I know. You sit over there. Okay. For this, we're going to need the pink piece of paper. We're gonna fold it in half. Beep, 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 beep. That. make a crease like that like that take your scissors and we're going to make a round but don't cut all the way through you don't want to cut all the way through that crease there because we don't want it to go into two pieces we want to make like a sandwich now let's see what we can do Big a bug, you'd have indigestion, you know that. I like big bugs, I know. Yeah, right, I know. Wow, too. Okay, see, now I've got like this. See how I didn't cut through there? Okay, pick up the scraps in the bag. Boom, there. I like a clean space to work. Okay, now we're going to make our bugs like this. Insects. We're making an insect, not a spider. We're making an insect because he only has six legs. 
A spider has eight legs. Did you know that? That's true. A spider has eight legs. An insect has six legs. So I'm going to have to cut just a little off of this one. I don't know how this one got so long. Anyway, there. We're going to we're going to put them in like this. Okay. But first we have to put in the glue. Where's my glue? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. Cap on the glue, not down the wazoo. And we're going to lay this one here, like boom. And boom. Six legs for the insect. All right. Insects have six legs. Spiders have eight. As we all know. Okay, now, I should have put glue on that side too, huh? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cap on the glue, down the wazoo. No, not down the wazoo. There, okay, now, boom. There we are. Ooh, forgot to put in the string. Put in the string. And close that little sandwich. And pinch, pinch. Pinch. And if we need to, we can put a little glue in there too. Like that. Cap on the glue. I'm done the wazoo. There. Okay, that's so nice. And you can bend these when it's you know when it's kind of dry. It looks delicious. I know. It does, doesn't it? If you're a frog. Not to me. And there you've got your little bug. Can I have can I have can I have come on, blah, 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 blah. And now, before we say goodbye, let's have our frog come up here and say his little poem that he's dying to say. Come on, young man, say your poem. I never saw a purple frog. I really hope to see one. But I can tell you here and now, I'm really glad to be one. Have fun at the Cleveland Public Library, kids. Bye-bye.